Malaysia. The lights go out. Good start there from Valentino Rossi, second on the grid. He's already gone past Zara and Zaka. We've got an absolute horror show start. Coming there at that mirror and back to Joanne Zaka. A quick Maverick Vinales check. He's still in 11th place. So it's not a bad start for him, but he won't want to hang around there for too long. It's Mark Mark. Oh, it's almost down. He's only he's only down. has gone down. I think that was him reacting to the Marquez mistake. Right, guys, it's his reaction. Yes. Like, automatically, you put a bit of input into the bath to avoid, but when you're on the edge of the tyre, it's enough to make it let go. Yeah, he, he was way to beat that Philip Island at heroics. Mark Marquez then does lift up Jack Miller coming into the final corner, so Mark Marquez started. Moment, but cannot. Ducati's notoriously difficult to pass, and there's a gap already forming here. He can't waste too much time, the race winner from Australia. Well, it's like the Bucco, Marquez, Miller, Dovi, Pedrosa, Rins, there's Petrucci. Vinales does hold off Bautista into the head. The reaction wasn't it? The reflexes of Andre, you know, he just kicked in. It was his natural instinct. He saw Mark Marquez lose the rear of that Repsol Honda and he thought, well, I've got to do something about it. And as Simon said, the input from his body through the handlebars, it just meant that has just fallen to the clutches of Andre De Vizioso as well. So this hot, early pace, Jack Miller struggling to run it. De Vizioso puts his pocket in the braking zone for turn number four and coming into the pits. He's Box, the angle on the Eto'o Ducati goes a dead opposite our country box position here. So that's a really unfortunate end to a tough weekend for the Czech Republic. It's into the final turn from Joanne Zarco. It's Rossi from Marquez here in Malaysia as they come around to complete another. Not lost too much ground on this lap to Mark Marquez in second. We're on board with the doctor now. Question will be, of course, how long will Valentino Rossi, Valentino Rossi, but he's just let that gap to the front get over two seconds. Can he claw it back with 14 laps in the corner left to go here in Malaysia? Some hopes now resting on Andrea De Vizioso, who's in fifth at the moment. This has not been the Ducati dominance we've seen in the last two years here. That could be crucial as well, Piero. But good for Valentino Rossi. If the end of the race is the crucial point, but he's managing this six, seven, tenth gap well. Marquez still in seconds. Oh. How many DNFs Andrea De Vizioso's had this year for Valentino Rossi to be in contention for second in the World Championship given his struggles for much of this 2018 campaign. To still second behind his teammate Valentino Rossi. As you were into turn 15, under braking, Mark Marquez really isn't Rossi got off the line. He must have done that clutch. The second, the millisecond, the lights would have because one of the better starts we've seen from him all season. On this lap, Valentino Rossi has opened up the gap to seven tenths again. Joanne Zarco's just lost a bit of ground on Mark Marquez in second as well. Ladies time. We close in on the halfway point of this race in Malaysia. The gap at the front, Rossi. Eight tenths ahead of Marquez through sector one, but with Patricio always struggles with his rear tyre grip and overheating the rear tyre. It's a real issue when we come to this part of the world. He had massive problems in Thailand in Burram a few weeks ago. So you'd have two zero zero nines. Stunning consistency and speed from the doctor. Halfway point, but he won't want to be beaten by Valentino Rossi here in Malaysia. No. So he will be putting everything into these last nine laps that are coming up. We come down the back straight here and podium. He has only had eight podiums in the last 30 races. It's no win in 26 for this man. One win in 43 races for Valentino Rossi. Here he is at the what a second half of the season it has been for Alex Rins. Now then, we are coming up towards the last corner and Rossi extends his gap again. Rider into the top 10 overall. That's six precious points for his Rookie of the Year Championship, although Franco Morbidelli's now into the points as well. Yeah, sorry, the Petrucci is having a bit of a nightmare out there at the moment. 2.02.2 was uh, his last lap, so he's well over a second off the pace, just uh, struggling for rig, but it has not been. Yeah. Maverick Vinales is past the uh, Repsol Honda now with Danny Pedrosa, so that's Maverick up into fifth place. moment if the fastest lap of the race comes to the way of number 93. Down the back straight we go. The top three remain the same. It's a bit of a lonely third for Zarco. In the video, is eight tenths of a second faster than Joan Zarco. He's still holding that two and a half second. Oh, 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 oh,
Williams. Mark Marquez had a tiny warning there from the front end. That won't bother him one bit. But the wattle of the master of versus the apprentice. Well, it's the master versus the world champion, of course, now. A genius, Mark Marquez, is labelled by so many. We come out of turn four, then. Mark Marquez hunts down Valentino Rossi into the downhill turn five. Blisteringly fast. Marquez had a huge moment here. Marquez really is putting some energy in those Michelin tyres, Matt. You can see the dark patches on that rear tyre. Yeah. Yeah, definitely has 26 races. Matt Rowan's going to go to 27 now. The crowd on their feet in front of our country box position. They cannot believe it. Groans all around us are back into national circuit. We've been... Joan Zarco in second. It's interesting, Steve, because the minute that Marquez... Marquez, six tenths of a second he was online on that lap, on that lap before Rossi crashed. That was the close. Only got nine tenths of Maverick Vinales. The pair of them in turn are reeling in Joan Zarco. See a replay of that one there from Rossi. Alex Rubens has just taken a bit of time out of Maverick Vinales. Vinales has lost a couple of tenths already on this lap. So he's just hit a bit of a brick wall, Vinales, in terms of his podium charge. He's got Vinales covered. Vinales is running out of steam here. Rins on that last lap. Brilliant lap by Alex Rins. Late on, we said at the start of the race how great this is. Oh, independent team rider, 20 points here for Joan Zarka. That puts him in the driving seat for that battle. What an extraordinary day has been here in Malacca. We've put him just six behind the legendary Mike the Bike Halewood. Giacomo Agostini, Valentino Rossi, Angel Nieto. Here comes Alex Rins. That's been coming for a long, long time. He's been reeling in Joan Zarko. Red right down on the deck. Picking up the baton for the X-Star. The Suzuki team though was Alex Rins. He's done a brilliant job. It's Mark's Malaysia. The stand-up wheelie over the line. He wins here. It's a bad. A brilliant ref. Maverick Vinales fights his way through from 11th to 4th. Had good mid-race pace to Vinales, but that qualified...